Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods. Now we've got a load of mods to get caught up on. Now apologies where I haven't been able to upload for the last few days but we are back on it now. So let's get some catching up to do. Let's go to the mod hub and see what's going on in, in there. Lots of mods today go over to latest which is on the right hand side now and we've got all this to go through today there's absolutely loads so we start off the first two are giants let's go into those we got bird bee house which there was a mod on fs17 which was about 600 pounds for each one so it'd be nice if that one comes out because that's quite expensive but we'll have a look at that and we've also got the green aces which is something what we should have had at the start but we're not going to go into that there they are we've got them now so we'll look to see what the crack is with those then moving on to the amazon tea pack the amazon tea pack is a passively steered packer which can be used in the rear between the tractor and the cedars as an intermediate compressor alternate alternatively it can be used on the front you can also increase its weight and we'll have a look at that something a bit we had something similar i think with twin wheels it wasn't with four wheels previously and that's by vertex design Then we got the Weber MT DSC 180 by Agrotechnic Nordifal. And this is a, I think it's compactor, and it might even be, I think it probably level it out as well. But we'll have a look at that one. Well, that's new, all new. Now, this one I've been waiting for because this was about the only way you could pick up um, logs and it didn't glitch out where the others tended to glitch out and this one didn't and that's by Toxicom so hopefully that'll work a, a treat I'm hoping then a new little loader and that's by AS Agri loader for, from Gorink the loading plate is used to transport soily soil, sand, timber and other types of cargo it's excellent for clearing, cleaning snow which would be interesting I suppose it is, it is a little play it's construction and design in short ease of use indispensable for any farm or company dealing with munis muni zip it's it i can't say it tonight you know what it says <laughs> forestry or related services right well that's something that new to look at anyway then we have the cone coon citera 3000 by matt 26 where he's he's been popular this is a three meter cedar by the looks of it. It looks like it probably cultivates it at the same time. 120 horsepower. Then we go on to the Juskin Trans Space with a new trailer by Black Sheep Modding. And it looks like there's, we've got a few different varieties there. So we'll have a look at those. Might have some different colors, you never know. Then moving over, we got the barrel weight, which we had this in FS17, something similar. By Grassland Mods. Just, oh, it did say how much it was. I was going to say how heavy, 600 kilos. Then we've got the Coon DC301. Now, this is another plow, which is three meters, but the advantage is this one, you can hook a cedars on the back of them. So that'll be interesting to have a look at that. So it is something that I haven't seen anything what you can hook something else on the back. For but then again, most of the time I will always use a cedar what does cultivate at the same time. But that is a subsoiler anyway. But we also have a placeable farm silo, which is new by Shaba FS. And that's saying there it's 120,000 euros, 60 euros a day. We'll have a look at that. 480,000 litres. Then we've got some placeable filling stations from Atsi VR. Freely placeable filling stations for seeds, fertilisers, liquid fertilisers, plant protection products. 
Now we've had it before where it said it's free and it wasn't free. It wasn't free to pay so you had to buy it. So it'd be interesting to see how much that isn't going to cost. Then we've got an update on the Dutz Agristar which one of the main things, this thing was so noisy, it was so rattly, it was unbelievable. So they've fixed the mass of the front weights, sound improved, thank God. New 3D tail lights, indoor light revised, added colour choice, which is obviously the orange. And that's by Puma FBM. Then I there is an update for Estuncio Lepaccio, fixed grain type mappings for fo foliage painting. Okay, I haven't got that one installed. It came up, I thought, oh, there's a new map. No, there wasn't. It was just an update for a map I haven't installed. And then the last one is the Stoll Super One with Stoll Tools. And it's dirt texture adjusted, adjusted the material of a galvanized metal. Working hose connectors and front loader tools. Front loader tools with connection holders have been added. So that's the updates and the mods of today. And that is your lot. A full page though. Surprising. Brilliant. Love it. All right. So first off, we're looking at the Joskin Trans Space. Now let's just bring these up into the sun and there we have it that is the new trailers and these are awesome awesome mod these are you can link up pretty much anything well not anything but a lot more than others now it's got three different um, types you've got the this the first one is sorry that's the largest one which is a 30,000 litre capacity this one is the 28,000 capacity and then you've got 25,000 capacity so this is the one you'll be using now we've got the three different color options available and you've also got the two different colors for the chassis it's a shame there wasn't a black chassis but there isn't the moment it's just those two the green and the gray um, awesome looking mod let's go around this side you can see they've got the hoses all linked up and they look pretty spectacular they really do like when i came in here earlier and had a quick look it was a detail of some of this stuff you can i could even read it but i can't there because the light's wrong now these will cost you uh, for the standard one which is 25,000 litre it will cost £23,500 to buy and initial, initial leasing costs are £1,198. Now they are minus 8 slots but everyone after that is only going to be minus 2 slots but we've got the ball um, hook up and we've also got the drop in so I've only hooked up these trailers at the moment but that tells me that you could be able to pretty much hook up everything and you should be able to use two of these and a one of the um, the larger trailers the big red semi trailers with a dolly and that's loads because that's what 59,000 and then if you pull in two of these that's another 60,000 so you should be able to pull that if you've got enough horsepower anyway and uh, that's well over 100,000 which is what you want you want to be doing 100,000 or more that's what I tend to do you need to be selling that much to make the money but awesome looking mod the detail on it is uh, yeah amazing it really is you've got the color choice with the wheels as well i think there might have been one more color choose might have got that wrong but you have um three different uh two different wheels available we've got trail bog and this your normal standard what it comes with and then you've got your michelin which are just more of a sort of road tirey and then you've got your wide tires now your wide tires come in and well actually wide tires and this one's got mud guards 
as well. The mud guards are an extra thousand pound. You see on these other ones, I haven't got mud guards fitted, but these are the the wide tires, and these come in at a cost of extra two and a half grand. Whereas these, the price doesn't doesn't matter. But all in all, yeah, nice, loving it. It's nice when you've got a load of trailers, especially at night, you see all the lights on. It's getting an indicator flashing as well. And I've, I've drove these down here, obviously, you've seen on the video on the way in, and it didn't have any issue. I was, I was going flat out, throwing it around the bends, and it just handled. I did want to test them all fully loaded. And yeah, nice, nice trailers. I do like the fact that it's all down there in the right bottom right hand corner as well where we've got me oats, the wheat and barley all written down there. Brilliant, absolutely love that. Right, so moving on and here we have a Gorank Gorank loader. Gorank, something like that. And this is minus nine slots. Will cost you two thousand eight hundred pounds to buy and one hundred and forty-two pounds to lease. Same again. Very detailed mod. Uh, this pretty versatile, really. You, I can see you using this for quite a few number of things. This bit here flop, flops over, and then so this you can carry it most items it fits in here um, all your grains and your manure and all that sort of stuff and fertilizer so that flips over or you can just use it as a loader um, in some of the pictures they showed it with logs coming out and i did that earlier i'll show you that shortly it was 1198 pounds to uh, no it wasn't 1100 it was 142 pounds to lease and in the back here it will hold 1500 litres 2.2 uh, metres wide but yeah nice looking mod now we give that a go in a bit then we've got the barrel weight lizard barrel weight and this is your just a standard barrel with filled with concrete with a three point coming off it same again, very detailed. Although it is just a barrel, look at it, the detailing is amazing. Now it's 200 pounds to buy, or 10 pounds to lease. You can have a different color for the barrel for an extra 200 quid. And if you want the trailer hitch on there, that was an extra 60 quid. Does the job, 600 kilos. And with the front loader, I didn't have any problems with it. It does slide through it. You know where a lot of people don't like that, but I'd rather it go through than it be a problem. So if you've got it fitted on the front, you can use the front loader, not a problem. And let's just hook up the loader. Now when I was using this loader, I did have problems with it. You can see at the top left hand corner, it's showing it's down. And when I had it loaded, I had trouble, it wouldn't go down. So it always stayed in this position. But you can actually tilt it down as well. But when you've got a front loader, uh, a front loader on it as well, it does the same for it, the same movement. That's where you can flip it over. So you can basically put logs, and it also said you could use it as a snow plow, which would be interesting, although we haven't got any snow on FS19 yet. But yeah, very versatile bit of kit, that. And for the money, well, especially leasing at 142, it's a bargain. Right, moving on, because we have got a lot of mods. The next one is, a lot of people have been waiting for this, been waiting for this. I haven't really been doing that much logging, really. I was waiting for the right bits of kit. And this is the right bit of kit. 
now there's the standard one next to it and you see it is double double size and I fa I've had a little play with it and I found that this these hooks were working okay however it does get a bit sticky where it sometimes you will you just got to um, pull the hooks down and then back up again and half the time it sorts itself out but it's the same again if you put, push pull the hooks down too hard it does glitch out a little bit we'll have a look at that shortly but welcome addition now the next one we're going to use this combine them because this is the Amazon T-Pack now this is minus four slots and it says 21 mile an hour I think is the top speed you can go with it when it's down I take it you need 40 horsepower and it is a sort of compactor and it well it just it is a also a front weight or a back weight wherever you want to put it it the weight goes from 80 to 880 kilos but because you've got the four wheels as well it also spreads the load over the four tires where before on FS17 we had a twin just half of this and it didn't seem to really do a lot but I've had a play around this and this is pretty helpful so you can use it for quite a few different setups now this is a the front one yes yeah that goes on the front and then this one is it with all the weights on basically and then you've also got this one what you can use to attach to most implements where this will go on the back of the tractor here and then you can have your implement there which this locks onto that and not locks onto that so it just spreads the weight out a little bit more but the one thing i found was working uh while well, using it was for picking up logs so we need to test this to see what the logs picking up capa cap capability is at we will run through it so now this one we will put on the back now these Amazon tea packs they are five grand to buy or you can lease them for 255 pounds I can't remember if I said but they were minus five slots for them and obviously it's, it'll act as a weight there and then you can elevate it down and it just spreads that weight out a little bit more so let's just go over I've got a couple of logs set up with the loader you see I used this loader earlier and oh I'll tell you what that's glitch back out now because when it was loaded in this top bit was over the top there so it's probably when you load the game back out it resets itself so it didn't really want it like that but I was surprised I had these two logs on and it was pulling them no problem it was as if they weren't even there really so let's see if we can pick up one of these logs see on already I find it was a little bit of an issue just getting it under so then you could use the log grab and pick that up and throw it in that was the easiest way but it is the same old issue where you push down too hard it doesn't like it it starts freaking out a little bit you see it starts pushing if you keep keep it on it it was pulling out trying to pull itself along and jump out but as long as you've got it, you don't have to do it too tight anyway. But the other issue I found it was as soon as you, well, it probably it probably be perfect now. Yeah, it rolls straight off, wasn't it? Typical. Typical. I think it's you've just got to get used to how to, how um, tight you can hold those logs before it starts. Doesn't like it, but at least you can pick them up this way. You just gotta pinch it in and just slightly flip around, release. Yeah, and it's not dropping in. 
There it goes. Oh, Lisa down. So yeah, it does work. It's a lot better than the one we've got at the moment with the single um, grab on it. I've seen a lot of talk about this in uh, quite a number of videos where it is. Where's the double pot fork? The log grab. Oh, here it is. All right, let's see if it's going to drop out how I want it to this time. We'll just put it there. Yeah, it looks like it might even just roll out. Look at that, it does. But I thought we'd need the tea pack where obviously the weight isn't a problem. But when the weight is a problem, you can spread the weight. As soon as you put that down, it'll pick up a lot, well, twice as much items basically. Right, let's just grab this last one. Yeah, it just doesn't like it too tight. Now I'm going to have to hook on and attach, well attach and do the straps quick. Yeah, and we do need that weight on the front now. I probably should have done that first. Uh, oh, it is lowering now. It wouldn't lower when I was having a mess around. So let's go and get the front weight. Well, the front all rear weight, the T-Pack. Yeah, and it's not having it. Oh, it is there. But yeah, I was surprised how versatile that was. It's picked them up. And I thought, yeah, they're going to fall off. But they didn't. So there's a log grab that seems to be working okay. There is a slight issues, but we've always had little issues with it. As long as you don't, you get to use it right, it's not a problem. So moving on to the Weber MT DSC 180. Now these are silage compactors. Basically it works with vibration and it is, will cost you £12,500 to buy or you can lease them for £637. It's a very detailed mod. I didn't know why the cables for the lighting would be there. You'd have thought that would have been all enclosed, maybe. Uh, I've got the two different ones out because there's two different ways to power it. PTO or hydraulic. And they don't cost any different money for either, either. They're both the same money. And it's minus four slots working speed of three mile an hour we're we'll going to put that to the test shortly as i found out a little go with it and you found it did it only works going in a straight line once it starts but we'll give that a whirl but first we've got to move on to the next mods because we've got so much to go through well we're getting there halfway through now so bear with us then we have the coon dc301 now this is one of the subsoilers, three meters wide, and you need 100 horsepower to pull it. It's got a seven mile an hour at working speed, which wasn't too special really. 
and it's minus two slots. Now the advantage with this one, you've got the hookup to go on the back of the tractor there, and you've also got the hookup to go on the, well you can hook it up to any other implement. You might even be able to use that on the front of the tractor actually, come to think of it, because that will hook up on the front. We'll give that a go when we test it. But yes, yeah, nice looking detailed little mod but it's good for all the three meter stuff means anything what you can't what hasn't currently got a cultivator with it you can whack this on the front um, put the cedar behind it and that's it jobs are good and you're good to go then we have the coon citeria 3000 cedar now this is a nice bit of kit look at that now I'm sure that is a soil breaker upper at the front there but in the um, shop it didn't say anything about you needed a cultivator but that to me is a cultivator at the front well sort of cultivator at the front hey, like I said you need 120 horsepower for this with a 9 mile an hour working speed it's only got 780 litre capacity and it is three meters wide cost you eight eighteen thousand three hundred to buy nine hundred and thirty three pounds to initial leasing costs so if you needed a three meter cedar there it is now it just as all the standard crops wheat barley and whatever you we go through that now we'll just go and put it to the test Right, so we can link that one up. And then that links onto there. And then the cedar links onto the back of there. Which you're like, whoa, that's a bit of weight on there. But then you can drop everything down. And you drop the front as well. I'm not sure if it's. Oh, we didn't want to drop, we wanted to lower. So let's go and put this to the test. Yeah, we got wheat, barley. What else we got? Oats. Yeah, it's just all the canola, soya beans, oil seed radish, grass. It's all your pretty standard stuff. And it's having trouble steering with this one on the front. Let's see if we can lift that up. Yeah, don't mind me. Did you not see the big red cedar in front of you? So yeah, on the front there seems to be a little bit of an issue with that front T pack because I don't think you could do it by no you can't you can't do it with the controls I thought some of them you can do with the control um, so I'm gonna put some grass in now this is something you don't really need to do because you can do this off the landscaper oh tank is empty right so what happens with the worker when we put this down you should just put that in and that's going to be grass Now interesting he's dropped the front weight down as well. Wow that plow is working, that subsoiler sorry, it is working well. Yeah and he's stuck. So it seems to be doing the job but I wanted to check to see if we drop off that and then take the 
Seb Soda off. Drop that there a minute. Because although it didn't say it was a. Oh, too far. That is spinny. The spinny bits. And when I was a landscaper, we used one of these. And it used to break up the soil, so I just want to see what it does. Put it all down. No, and it won't. It won't have it whatsoever. So it must just break up to not actually cultivate. But there you go, that all seems to work. Now then, let's test the Weber and see what the compacting is like. At the moment, this is 28% compacted. So it needs quite a bit of compaction done. Now we're gonna test out both of them just to make sure the PTO one works just as well as the other one does. Turn that on, and that's all there is basically. Turn it on. You got the vibration of the PTO going there. Nice set of lights on there. And let's give it a whirl. And that's what I find it likes to just go straight, so you have to just use it going straight. So you need to point it in the general direction and I'm not sure if it's going to work on a pile like this but this is what it's all about, we're going to soon find out. So yeah, so that is compacting pretty quick. And it is spreading out a little bit. I'd been better off putting the spreader. There is the spreader I we did in the mods the other uh, last week, and that would have worked out a treat. But it is compacting, no problem. Let's go and test the hydraulic one. I'm going to see if it will go straight into the heat. It probably, I can't see it getting up there. Yeah, so you do need it pretty flat really to get it in there. It is compressing though, you can see the compacting is being done. 80%. So this looks like it's going to compact things pretty quickly as soon as you've set them up okay. I.e. not having huge piles. Right, so let's try that again. That's it, done. Well that was quick. Well that works a treat, no problems with that. Right moving on to the next one which is a beehive. And here they are, you can see them buzzing in and out. When you come up close you can hear them. Quite a large beehive. Well, bee house. Now these cost 20 grand to buy, which I thought was quite excessive, really. As there was a mod in FS um, 1917, and that was five or six hundred pounds for a bee house, and it generated more money than this one as well. 
Um, it generates £25 an hour and maintenance is £8 a day, so not a huge amount of maintenance, but £25 an hour. Now if we go into the finances, you can see our money being generated at the moment. So today we're on £350 and yesterday it generated £600 a day for one B house. So it is minus five slots. So I didn't really, I, I won't be using it. This is a nice looking mod, you know, they've done a lot, a good job looking over it. I'm not sure if that light comes on at night or, or not. But yeah, nice mod. Moving on, we've got the green houses. But they're not there. So let's buy some green houses. And there we go. We, so we can now generate money with greenhouses. We've got our own greenhouse placeables. Now these are minus four slots. They're both the same slots, both the same money. I thought you could open the door. I thought we, we could go in. Perhaps you can only go in when it's full up. But we'll do that in a minute. So they are... 25 grand to buy, maintenance 10 pounds a day, minus four slots, generating an income of 90 pounds an hour. Now I just, we just looked on our income and said it was generated 350. And we know that the B house is doing 25. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna sell the B house. Let's get rid of the B house. Right, so we now got rid of the B house and we know our income for today, property income is 350 pounds. And that was from the bee house itself so we're gonna now these are saying it's gonna make 90 pounds an hour so i'm gonna go and fill them up in a minute but first we will fill them up with water so let me go in and fill them up with water I'll go, I'll go and get them some manure in there and i'll be back in a minute you put water in they start growing you've got the tomatoes they're ready to go they take 2,000 litres of water and you see there the lettuce they're ready to go as well so only 2,000 litres each so not a huge amount now the one thing I wanted to try to see if you can drop off the manure or you have to I've tried it with a conveyor it works with a conveyor no problem but I didn't know whether you could tip or not now I did the side tip and it hasn't picked up the trigger there. Yep, and you can tip. That's cool, because that used to be a pain when you had to use a front loader where it wouldn't let you tip in. However, they were up a lot higher than what they are there. Now that just took 3,000, it said 2,000. Because I had 4,000 in here, so we tip, yep, yeah, and that tip's not a problem. Go straight into there. Let's go back, because it did say 2,000 originally. Oh no, manure is 3,000, it's more manure. So that is to, it used to be you doubled the money with putting manure on it. And let's just have a look at our income. I doubt it's moved, no it won't. I'll just fast forward one hour, so we should be getting over an extra hundred, just under two hundred pounds more. Right, go to the finances now and see what we generate. Wow, we're generating a lot of money, a hell of a lot of money. So they're proving to be quite lucrative. I'm not going to run into all that now because I want to do a different video by combining quite a few of these and see if it was worthwhile doing market gardening. So yeah, a nice nice mod, all works. It's making the money, it's making plenty of money. Which is what we want. Moving on, we have some new buy points. Now these are the old ones and these are the new buy points. Now starting off we have the seed buy point and they're all, the, all of these are a thousand each. 
now the seeds are minus four slots then we've got the herbicide which is minus five slots then you've got the liquid fertilizer which is minus six slots and then we've got the normal solid fertilizer which is minus four slots like i said they're a thousand pound to buy and i did have a check to see how if how much if they work and they do work not a problem i do want to compare we've got our ones over here which came out first i just wanted to see if they were doing it for the same money now then we've got the stara we're going to use this to fill up with digestate uh, not digestate herbicide and we see how much it costs from the standard tanks which were the first tanks out and that gave us 3168 now we try the same on this side herbicide so that was exactly the same and we d no we don't want herbicide we've already done herbicide oh, I can't take liquid I can only take solid now we try solid fertilizer 6047 and that's cheaper 5615 so that's surprising now we just need to try the liquid fertilizer and that's 4089 wow so the, this one is more expensive than the other one so all we need to do is try it with the seed right that filled quick 772 then again it's only 780 litres isn't it I'm moving over to this one and see how much this is yeah and they're a lot slower these are a lot slower than the other ones and that's 982 so it is more expensive so they're probably not the best ones to be buying you may as well use the unless you're on mercury farms if you're at mercury farms then you use the alien gyms ones and they are very cheap you're paying average um, it was 10 percent less than everywhere else some some of them are a lot lot more than that so but they all work they all do the job they all give you what you need you do have to get pretty close to these in order for them to trigger and I probably did put these a little bit too close to each other anyway but there you have it that is our new buy points now moving on to the last one we have our new farm silo and it is a beast it is big now this costs 120 grand and it holds 480,000 litres now we we'll just check to make sure this is all working I did notice sometimes the tip didn't come up yeah like this one hasn't came up and it doesn't want oats why is it not working now then I checked earlier and it there it is it's working it's just some of them it doesn't the tr I, some of them the trigger does come up and it tells you what it what it is you're dropping off and then others it won't yeah there's there it is the triggers come up now there's the wheat so that's working okay
see if we can get that last one reversed there. I think you need to put it on the tractor and then it should tip. No, nope. it's not happy tipping there. So the issue, it might be the trailers, but it seems to be at the back there. Let's spin that round, make sure it does take oats. That's strange, it won't take the trigger. Oh, there it is. So the trigger is, it will come up, it's just you gotta find it there. Start overloading, which is a bit annoying. You should be able to just drive anywhere, but that is normally just an issue when something new comes out. Although it's all been tested, well, I've tested it and it's a bit pants. So let's make sure we can fill it up okay. And you can see we've got all the normal different commodities. You can't, can't put any grasses in here. So let's put some wheat in there, that one. And it's not excessively fast, but then it's not as slow as the silo there is to the left hand side, the left hand side of the screen there. Those silos are extremely s slow. But they could speed this up a little bit, couldn't they, really? Because, yeah, that's half now. All right, that'll do for that one. And let's just go on to the next one. We'll do a bit of soybeans. Yeah, that's all working. It. And some barley. that's all working jobs are good and right so that is it for today did I say it was minus 10 slots for that one well it is it's minus 10 slots uh, as I was saying that is your lot for today now I've got a lot of tidying up to do around here and now I'm gonna hit every trader aren't I yep you are come on traders pull it over the power of the Fen 1050, it's done it. Cool. So as I was saying, that is it for today. That is all 12 mods gone through. I think it was 12. That's uh, quite a lot. And apologies for it being late. We're back on track. We'll be getting them out on the day they have released. We will get that video out for you. So if you've enjoyed the video then please give me a like, be much appreciated, it all helps to build the channel and if you want to share with anyone, feel, be my guest, it all adds to building the channel. The channel's growing at quite a good rate at the moment, we just hit 50,000 views, I want to thank all my new subscribers and my viewers, absolutely awesome, 50,000 views, never thought I'd get that many, um, so things are looking up. Right. Still, thanks for watching, till next time, goodbye.